<laughs> Kef is J. Bad day to be a crappie. <laughs> you Kef is J. Let's go. Give me some of that. He's tired. Water, Happy days, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm all sorts of turned around. <laughs> you can tell I'm not from the cities. A couple front roads and some parking lots, I'm just turned around. Here we are, front and center at Wyzetta Bait and Tackle. Good morning, Benny. Talk to me about why Zeta Bait and Tackle. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming here since I was like four years old. Um, unfortunately, they're closing after I think 30 some odd years in June. So we're gonna give them business while we still can. Look at that lid. Kind of a sad deal. Oh man. Yeah, Support let's- local bait shop. Absolutely. Yeah. Juice. Hey, just above. Yeah, absolute juice. <laughs> oh my gosh, absolutely. Do you need a stringer? Do you, you probably need one for the boat. These adjust abubs are pretty sweet. I don't know if that's the company that makes them, adjust abub, but they've got like a little rubber band on the inside that grips your line. Super sweet. It's gonna flush out a lot of trees and stumps. It'll change the way the river looks. For cubby. I mean, if you're silly, if you don't <laughs> select a few of those, right? I, I have to. I, I almost need like six, maybe more. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. I have to get eight. <laughs> then I'm good to go. Oh, look at these are talking. Yeah, uh, rain next two days. And now you got a 64 dump. So if we don't, don't cut that down. So they'll cut it down so it's only like three quarters of the system. That, you know, kind of keeps That's what That's we're pretty, after. That's cool. That's what we're after. I'll get the meat hook ready for you. Okay, thank you. We'll be back. <laughs> the talk is like five minutes, so we'll run, run down there and launch. Not a long boat ride to the where we're getting to, so yeah. All right, let's get it out. Let's get it. <laughs> Let the catching begin. This is this is going to be a bunch of catching, and we'll talk about our program in a minute, but. This is one of my favorite things to do all year long. I just went through a full winter of catching panfish and crappies, but catching them underneath a float in the spring when they're just piled up, shallow weed flats, shallow cuts, it's, it's the best thing in the whole world. We're starting out with a classic, just a little mini mite cubby, and then I'm gonna mix in a bunch of other baits and see if they can compete. On this lake, this bait is absolute crush city, so I'm excited to see if they bite more on one color or if it doesn't matter at all. So we're just, we're just gonna let this roll. This is just straight catching. The boat's in probably, what'd you say? Nine. Nine feet. And we're only really fishing three and a half, four feet down. We bounced around to a couple lakes earlier today, checked some back cuts, checked some other flats. It was okay, but this weed flat here we just pulled up to, it's like bang, 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 bang. We've already got like five in the well. We just put the cameras on now and it's, oh, I just missed it. It's absolute go time. A choke. <laughs> what's the water? What's the water temp? Forty-two. Oh. Wow. This is a borderline cutter. We got all day though. Hayes and I, we were just out in Green Bay, and you're allowed one walleye out there, and we kept a couple walleyes. But other than that, our freezers are empty. So we need some crops. This is right on the edge. On. There we go. <laughs> nice one. Mm-hmm. Bang. Oh, right on the edge. Right on the edge. Not quite a cutter. We could cut them, but not quite. Cold water spring crappies are freaking absolutely delicious. Come on. 
They love the cubby out they here. They love it cubby out here. That little mini mite cubby is an absolute player. This is going to be a cutter. This is a good fish. This is a nice fish. We're going to play around with some baits today oh, and yeah. see if they like the hair more or see if they want that's just the mini mite cubby. Nice cutty. Here we go. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Spring crappie fishing underneath the float is so freaking fun. I feel. I feel like a dang child again. When I was young, you know, this is how we always fish. We just fish for pan fish underneath bobbers. And when you go all winter long ice fishing, then you can finally hop in a boat and just fan cast. You don't have to drill a hole and fish, drill a hole and fish. You can fan cast and just plow beautiful, delicious eater crops. One after another, it's, it's an absolute blast. Put him in the well. Like I said, we're we're gonna keep him honest though. We're gonna play around with the cubby a little bit. And what are you throwing right now, Hayes? This little Bobby G. Bobby G. Yeah. But I might change a little tinsel here in a minute. Hayes might put on some hair. Yeah, and a lot of well, another important thing to talk about would be just the, um, you know, is where you're setting your bobber, like the depth. Yeah. So we're in eight feet, but a lot of these fish are at five. So if we set it three, it forces them to kind of come up and get it water's fairly clear so they can see you know but you always crappies are always feeding up right so Holy. definitely pay attention to where they're at in the water column in this case they're about halfway down and almost 10 foot of water so three feet three and a half is money i mean yeah. bobber fishing in general like i do i do quite a bit of bobber fishing in the summer for walleyes again always keeping the bait higher than you think you should be you know what i mean and just forces the ones that really want to eat it to come up and get it. You know, and I, I mean, yeah. I've seen it. I've, I've been on, in general, on Minnetonka, specifically fishing, you know, 20, 20 foot of water, and the fish are only three, four, or five feet under the surface. So, got to just pay attention. I'm going to switch up to a hair jig here and see if they'll eat that since you're running the plastic. They seem to be eating it pretty well anyways. And keeping your bobber pie too can kind of be the difference between catching some better crappies and then not getting mixed in with those small bluegills. A lot of times in a school fish, those little bluegills will even, or just bluegills in general, will sit more toward the bottom. And we want those better crops. Whack. Oh, better. Oh, this one might be better. Yeah, look at it. And the sauce is second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice cutter. <laughs> there we go. Nice one. Double cutties. This is a perfect eater. This is probably a 10 and a half, potentially 11 inch crappie. And like we know, crappies are pretty susceptible in the spring because they're aggressive. But if you keep those 10 to 11 inches and let those big ones go and reproduce, you're really gonna be helping the lake and getting a great meal. Feels like a cutty, buddy. Cutty. Oh yeah, cutty. Oh yeah. The hair fell off this jig, and now it's just like I'll show you just the just that little bits left on the end. Yeah. Get it up in the camera. 
banging on them. There's a nice metro crappie. One for the dinner pail. You think? I'm gonna try some tinsel. They're clearly here and they're eating. Now let's see if they like something better. Ooh. Hayes is gonna do a little hair. I'm gonna do a little VMC hot skirt. Pink and white. One thirty second ounce. Absolute spring crappie candy. They don't mind the hot skirt either. Ooh. Better. Definitely better. It's a lot of heart. Merp. God, they're on the hot skirt. This one feels better. That's a cut. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a cut. <laughs> he's, he's gonna make the team, yeah, he's thick. You can honestly tell when they're just a little bigger just by the way they pull, you know? Mmm. Beautiful. Oh man, welcome to the team, pal. One more daily double. All right, it's official. I, I kind of thought the mini might was really a player out here, but I think this VMC hot skirt and that little hair jig is is equal, if not way better. I actually think they liked a lot better, and you don't have to change plastics, which is really nice, like on the hot skirt. It's just this little tinsel and this little hair coming out the back, so you can just, if you get on them, pound, 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 pound. I think we're gonna expand. That was, <laughs> that was awesome, that was a really, relaxing hour of completely beating on a bunch of eaters to a little bit below eater size crops. So it's a gorgeous day. I think Hayes and I are gonna continue to scan around. When we pick up JB later, I think we might cut a couple of these up and enjoy kind of, you know, a later lunch, early dinner yeah. out in the boat. I've got the outdoor cooking stuff right here and that's, that's what it's all about. Spring is about getting in the boat with your buddies, relaxing, throwing out a float and just yoinking on hungry spring crops, so. Let's continue on. <laughs> Camp is <Okay>. Jay! <laughs> Bad day to be a crappie. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Get in here, Camp is Jay. Let's go. Give me some of that. <laughs> well, you know, couldn't be a, more of a bluebird of a day. <laughs> I mean, I'm in Hayes' new boat. Got Sobe here. Hopefully you guys can guide me some fish. I'm pretty clueless, honestly. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys bring me the luck. I'm just happy. <laughs> Uh oh. I don't care if you're five years old or 500 years old. There ain't nothing better than getting on a dang pile of crops with a float. I was born up in the mountain, raised by an old grizzly bear. I was born up in the mountain, raised by an old grizzly bear. What's up guys? We just pulled into Wyzetta Bait here. We got uh, the Wyzetta Bait old school stringer. We're gonna hook them up, get a photo. Uh, we're gonna select 10 of these. I think we kept around 25 between the three of us, limits 10 a piece. 10 a piece. Uh, we're gonna cook up 10 or a dozen of them and then get a photo of the other ones and then eventually clean them up and everyone will go home with a little meat. But we're actually gonna fry right here in the parking lot. We're gonna fry him some. We're gonna fry uh, Tim some as well. And potentially his wife might roll by. The owner of Wyzetta Bait, but um, I should let you guys know that Wyzetta Bait will prob probably be open for another month. Um, so, you know, if you're in the area, definitely swing in uh, and tell Tim that Sam, Sobe, and JB sent you. So, <laughs> it should be good. 
JB's got the oil getting hot. We just talked to Tim, the owner, and he said, nobody's ever fried fish in his front parking lot. And that definitely warms our heart. We just got done. Finished dicing them all up. And I take those home and bury them in the garden. Grandma's garden. <laughs> Bloody hands, baby. Yeah, buddy. So the history from YZ to Bait is we've been here for 48 years this spring. So 1975 we started uh, with my dad and my brother um, just getting the business going. And uh, I was 12 years old when we started. So I ended up being the head boxer, boxing crawlers and worms and leeches or whatever, you know, from age 12 on up. But yeah, 48 years is a long run. You know? That's awesome. Yep. JB's got him cooking. What do you think? Pass is the pass, that's for sure. Really? <laughs> let me try a little bit All right, flavor on the outside, a little Cajun mixed with a little original. And then from there, we're gonna put the special sauce on. It can't beat Cajun. We even got a little spuds in there going. Yeah, tear it down. All right, talk to me about what we're gonna do here. What, what's the little secret sauce? We got the, the buffalo wild wings, garlic parmesan. And you know, when I go to beat ups, this is one of the things that I order is garlic parm wings. So we're gonna put, put some in the bag, throw some fresh crappie in there, shake it up, see what it tastes like. Let's get it. Oh, almost wing them up per se. Oh yeah. It's gonna be deadly, dude. It's different, <laughs> I mean. We used to get our parents to bring us here and drop us off the local docks. We'd get some bait, and now we're frying for the guy. It's not gonna be <laughs> the shop's not gonna be around much longer. So I mean, yeah. pretty cool moment to be able to bring him some fish, get a stringer picture, and just yeah. make history. You know, it's something I'll never forget. There's no question about it. What a day! What a day! Come full circle. Start here, end here. Harvest first bounty. Out of bay, boys. Make sure you go follow Hayes and Justin. I'll link them down below. Like I said, Hayes is a multi-species guide around Minnesota. So if you'd like to book a crappie trip with Hayes on Minnetonka, I'll leave his number and his Instagram down below. Hit him up. He's an absolute gem. And yeah, the first bounty of the year, spring crappie is so freaking fun underneath the float. Um, get out there. Bring your grandma. Bring your brother. Bring your mother. Bring your friends. Bring your kids. Hop in a boat. Grab a float. Toss it out there. Pound some crappies. And just enjoy spring. Spring is here and it's so good to be back in a boat. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I guess there's nothing left to be said than stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Oh my pretty babe.